Hey, in this video I want to show you how you can use Logic's sampler to create realistic orchestral instruments. I want to show you how you can assign your modulation wheel to control the dynamics or the expression of your string sounds. So what you want to focus on is the mod matrix. So in the mod matrix, you're going to select a source, and for the source, you're going to press mod wheel. The target is volume, and then for via, you're going to do that via expression. When you first do this, it's going to look like this. The amount is going to look like one. It's all the way panned right to 100% to plus 100%. Just click on the lever and it'll expand to negative 100. You want to keep it the whole range from negative to positive. And then also on the source, you want to make sure you have INV pressed or inverse pressed. Now, when I move my modulation wheel, nothing happens. But the reason why nothing happens is because I haven't played anything yet. So, first thing you gotta do is play something. So you have to play something first, don't panic. You first do this and you see the mod wheel isn't working. You gotta play something. So there's not gonna be any dynamics if there's no sound. Logic is professional right out of the proverbial box. So here I'm gonna record something and I'm gonna show you how adding some reverb could make it sound even more realistic. So here I have a bus set up on the strings patch to Logic Space Designer Reverb, which is great. It's one of the best reverbs that come with Logic. And here I have a large space set up uh, under the second column of halls, and I have a big string reverb, which is what I usually use for my big string sounds. So, sounds great. This is a great instrument to use um, if you're just coming up with ideas, coming up with um, some kind of chord progression or a melody or something quick that you want to just lay down, record, and then you can worry about orchestrating it into the other string sections later. So I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful. Please like and follow and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you next time.